Hello, my name is David here at Micro Center. Today I'm going to show you how to access the Winbook D5008 DHDVR with IMC on Android. Let's get started. Starting out on the DVR, you want to get your IP address, so right click anywhere on the main screen and click Main Menu, then click Configuration, and then click Network. The base tab is where you will configure the DVR to be DHCP or static. The easiest configuration will be to set the DVR to DHCP by clicking the DHCP box. Enabling DHCP will make the DVR get its network information from your router. Now the downfall of this means that your IP address information can change. Now to prevent the IP address from changing, you can configure the DVR for a static IP. Now a static IP address you will set by unchecking the DHCP box and then filling out the IP address, subnet mask, gateway address, and DNS servers, which all depends on the configuration of your router. And when complete, click the apply button at the bottom. If you set for an IP address to be static, you already have it and you can move on to the next step. For DHCP configuration, click on the network state tab and then get your IP address from the sender IP address field. Once you have your IP address from the DVR, you can go ahead and move on to your Android. On your phone, go ahead and open up Google Play and do a search for IMC. Choose IMC, it should be the top result, and tap on Install, and then tap Accept. Once it's finished installing, you'll get a notification on your phone. At that point, just go ahead and open up IMC, either by tapping on Open or opening up IMC through your Apps menu on your phone. To add a DVR, tap on Device List, and then tap on the plus sign in the lower left. This will bring up Device Detail, where you can put your DVR's information into. Uh, in the device name, type in whatever you want to call the DVR. It's completely up to you then leave it to IP address and then type in the IP address in the address field that you obtained from your DVR earlier. Leave TCP port to 8000 and then type in the username and password to your DVR. By default the username is admin and the password is 123456. Then select 8 for max channels as this is an 8 channel DVR. Tap on OK in the upper right and then tap on your DVR and then select the channel that you want to bring up on the live preview screen. On the live preview screen, you can view a total of four different feeds at the same time. And each number at the bottom of the live preview screen can be assigned a specific channel from a specific DVR. To set that, just tap on one of the numbers that hasn't been assigned and it will bring up the device list in which you can select the DVR and the channel that you want to assign to the number. And click on each square and then tap on one of the numbers that's been assigned a camera feed to throw the feed up on that square. And the bottom menu, you can hit the camera icon to take a snapshot and store it on your SD card on your phone. You can hit the camcorder once to start recording to your SD card and then you can hit it a second time to stop recording and then hit the light bulb to get your alerts from the DVR and on the left hit the square to pause the feed and hit the arrow to resume. Tapping on the gear icon next to the numbers will bring up the options. On the main menu, live preview will bring up the, the screen we were just on. Save photos will show you the snapshots you took. Local video will show you the video you recorded on your phone. Options will bring you back to the same options we were on before. and device list will bring you up to view the DVRs that's been programmed. To edit a DVR, tap on the middle icon at the bottom and then tap on the DVR you want to edit. This will bring you up to the DVR screen, then tap on edit at the top right. Make your changes and hit the OK button at the top right. And to delete a DVR, just hit the trash can icon at the right side and then tap on the DVR. And tap on OK. And that concludes today's video on how to locally access the DVR. If you have any further questions, please visit us at microcentertech.com. 
and thank you for watching.